This is going to be a very just random start to a video, but I had a request on a live stream to do a bow hunting video on Parquet Fernando. And I was like, sure, you know, I'll do that. And out of nowhere, we have a level 3 piebald mule deer. Um, it completely runs out in front of me. And I'm trying to just kind of get, if I can get in an open area, I'm just going to kind of hang with him for now. And um, we're going to try to get him with a bow. So I guess I'll get back with y'all hopefully when I'm getting a shot on him. Now that I've kind of pushed him into a little bit of an opening, I think I'm going to wait back here a little bit and just kind of see where he goes. He was right down there. Let's see if I can actually put eyes on him again. I don't know. Oh, I thought I saw movement. I actually don't know where he got to. Where'd you go? You're probably. Alright, maybe he's right here. Let me get back up in here a little bit. Maybe he got right there in those bushes and just kind of stopped. I'm not getting any more coverage. Just kind of edge out here a little bit. Let's see if I can put eyes on him. It's really the only thing I want. I think I'm going to try just kind of slowly inching a little bit closer where all this brush isn't right here on my left. So I'm going to do that real quick. I just got a warning call from like right there. I mean, he has got to be close. It's going to happen fast if it does. It's going to happen really fast. That's why I'm going to kind of stay recording because I don't know. Pretty much I have no idea what's going to go down. I know this is like just a completely random spot or random start, but I spawned into the tent and he's running from me. And I was able to kind of just stay with him the whole time. I know my wind is not good. So let me maybe if we get up right up here to this tree and crouch up and we can see if we can see him. Pretty much the first shot opportunity I'm going to get because I don't think he's big enough to make gold. Actually about 99% sure that he doesn't even have a chance at it because of his rack. And, oops, I'm not hidden. Alright, I have no idea where he got to. Alright, let me get back on his tracks and we'll see if we can find him. I finally laid eyes on him again. I was really hoping he was going to go nervous in this area. It seems like every time I put eyes on him, he gets behind a tree or something and flees out of sight. I see him up there. He's still trotting. Alright, hopefully I can get on this hill up behind him and see over it. And hopefully he can maybe get back in his zone or something. Their drink time's almost over. And that's where I think he's trying to get back to. You can see him kind of make a big circle. So I'm hoping he's trying to get back to his drink zone. And then after that, he'll probably go rest. I think that's what they have next. I'm not 100% sure there, but as long as I know he does drink at that lake, so if stuff does go bad, we can just reset the time and try to go get him. I think that the spot we're in is pretty good. We're far away from him, but yep, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping, or I guess not. I thought he was going to go nervous right there. Hopefully, he'll still be in eyesight when he does it, which he just did. So now we got to just hope that he comes back. The thing is, is if I had a rifle, he'd be long gone, but it's a bow hunt, and I'm for sure going to stick with it. So I cut the clip right before he did it, but he just started resting. So this is good to know. I can hopefully sneak in there and get pretty close. I'd like to get about 40. That would be my ideal range. I don't really know where we can try to get, though. Um, it's going to be rough shooting up too, and my wind's not bad, or my wind is bad. Where is he? So he's right there. How long is their rest on? Is this, is one of these? So we got till 1700. We have my mark on him. I'm going to be risking, I'm going to come to this outpost and come up and come over this hill. Because not only will we be shooting downhill, but my wind will also be good. So it's going to be a risk, but I'm willing to take it. I made it up and over, but I did alert him. He's nervous traveling. 
Okay. I'll try to sneak in here. It'd be awesome if he would just rest again. I just got a little too close because I couldn't see him. And he's off again. Great. <laughs> this is just going to be the tale of me and one pie bald. Alright. Guess we're off on it again. <laughs> Finally. He is calm and resting. Okay. So, I'm going to try to get in those bushes there. I feel like we should be pretty good if we can get to those. Um... Yeah, I mean, he, he's taken quite a bit to finally get in here on him. He's given us quite a bit of footage, so um, hopefully, though, we're closing in on his last few clips. So we've gotten right in here to him, and we're so close, and now i just got to get him up to get a good shot off. He's behind a tree. He's going into my wind. He's going to come right in. Uh-oh. Here's where it gets interesting. I cannot see him. We hit him. Dropped him. Okay. <laughs> Please don't tell me I spinal cord him. Okay, it's vital blood. Alright. Heart shot him. Double lung heart shot. I think that's what I deserve after something that took that long. What's up with his eye on this side? Maybe it's just the glare or something. I knew he was going to be a silver. I knew he wasn't going to make gold. But, wow, never did I think I was going to be taking that long to get a pie ball with a bow. But, <laughs> the things I'll do for a video suggestion. So, I hope that definitely <laughs> made that person happy. That was a heck of a tra chase. Alright, let's go see what else we can find. Although, I don't think we're going to have much time left. <laughs> So I hunted around for probably an hour or two RL and could not really get anything else worth shooting or even really get close to anything. Trust me, I tried but just never had success. I know kind of unfortunate that we only had one kill in this video, but I mean, <laughs> at least it was something interesting and had a heck of a story to it. So kind of sorry for the disappointment, but I did do a two hour stream and a video yesterday. So I went above and beyond yesterday. <laughs> But I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.